Hello and welcome to Baking on a Budget. Now in this video I'm going to do something slightly different and I'm going to make this beautiful spicy bean stew and rice recipe. And I'm going to make some flatbreads with that as well. Absolutely delicious, really inexpensive. Now we have the various ingredients over here and I'll run through exactly what I'm going to use and how much all of that costs. We have a tin of cannellini beans at 49 pence. Obviously you can use any type of bean you would wish for this. Use a few different types if you wish. But I'm using the cannellini beans and they are 49 pence a tin. I've also got a tin of tomatoes there at 50 pence. We have one onion at 9 pence. We have a clove of garlic at 4 pence. We have two teaspoons of paprika at 6 pence. And we have one teaspoon of chilli powder at 5 pence. That whole recipe comes to £1.23. And I'm saying we'll get three servings out of that, making a serving of this 41 pence. Now I'm also going to use some rice, um, about 60 grams of rice, you know, just a good handful. That's about 16 pence. And for the bread, we have 80 grams of flour at 4 pence. We have 40 grams of butter at 30 pence. We have a pinch of salt and a little water. That whole recipe comes to 34 pence. We'll get two beautiful flatbreads out of that. So they are 17 pence each. So the total cost of one serving of this meal is 74 pence. What do is just make the dough for the flatbread because I'm going to let this rest for a little while before I roll them out and fry them. These get fried in the frying pan, by the way. Uh, I'm going to use a dry pan as well. You can put a bit of oil in it if you wish, but I think they come out all right with a dry pan. A little pinch of salt in there as well. And we simply want to, again, breadcrumb this up. Yeah, just, just mould it into a breadcrumb. Rub the fat into the flour. To bring that together, we just want a little bit of cold water in there. Really not too much cold water. I think that was about uh, half a tablespoon went in there. And that will do just fine. So we want to bring this together into a dough. And that just wants to be a fairly pliable dough like that. And that will do fine for our flatbreads. Okay, set that aside. For the main part of the recipe, the uh, spicy bean stew itself, I'm just going to chop this onion up fairly finely. Now you could also use a pepper in this recipe, which I must admit I was going to. thought I had one, but when I looked, there was none there. So we're just going to have this with the onion and garlic and the beans and the tomatoes. Very simple recipe. Okay, that's all of the onion chopped. Same with the garlic. As I say, these garlic cloves are very small, so I'm classifying this as one. Um, there's practically nothing to that one. And then we want to chop that up again fairly fine. We have the garlic and we have the onion. Okay, so we have the pan uh, with a drizzle of oil um, <clears throat> over a very low heat. First thing we want to do is get the onions in there. Now I'll let them fry down a little before I put the garlic in because we don't want that garlic to burn. We're going to let them get on with it for a few minutes and whilst that's happening I will prepare the beans and the tomatoes for this. Okay now the beans this is as I say just a tin of cannellini beans. Could use red kidney beans or any beans you like but I do like these cannellini beans. They're a good sized bean and uh, really fleshy sort of thing you know. So we just want to empty that out into there and give that a quick rinse. It's looking good. And the tomatoes, again, this is just a simple tin of chopped tomatoes. But they normally are chopped a little too coarsely for my liking. So I'm going to empty them in here and just give them a very quick blitz with, that, with the hand blender. That will do it. Okay, back to the onions. They have been frying very lightly. We're also going to put the garlic in there. Now I'll just let that go for a little longer and then we will get the beans and everything in here. Alrighty, so the onions have had about five minutes and they have softened up nicely. So, next thing we want to do is just get the tomatoes in there. Looking good. And then to that, the beans go in. And then we have the spices. 
and as I say this is going to be two teaspoons of paprika and one teaspoon of this chili powder this is a mild chili powder again I don't like the food overwhelmingly hot uh, but if you wanted to put a stronger chili powder in there you could now just to finish that off as always a generous crack of black pepper now I'm going to stir all that together and if it's a little too thick you can always add a little water to this but that is a very simple recipe to put together and I believe this would be a vegetarian option um, okay there it is now I'm going to leave that for about 15 minutes just to simmer away but whilst it's doing that we will prepare this flatbread now we just want to round that cut in half we'll get two out of this set that one aside for now we just want a little bit of flour on this board and a little bit of flour on the pin we can bring that into a circle and then we want to roll this out fairly thin so i'm going to leave this here and we'll put it in the pan as we put the rice on okay well water's bubbling away and i'm just going to put one handful and a touch more that'll be about 60 grams now for the rice really what i like to do with this is just stir it once as soon as it's gone in and then absolutely leave it alone so we're going to let that go for about five minutes and then we'll do the bread and then we're nearly there okay so our rice is coming along our bean pot is looking good and i've got a fairly high heat under this pan and i don't have any oil or anything in it. it's a dry pan and it's getting fairly hot now i'm just going to put that in there and it'll start to bubble it should start to bubble in a couple of minutes and as soon as that happens we'll just flip it over and do the other side okay if you can see that's just been beginning to bubble up there and that will be fine i just want to flip that over and i'll flip that once more it's starting to brown and i'm going to leave that just for another 30 seconds or so then we'll start serving this up we have a delicious fat bread and I'm just going to pick it up and stick it on the plate and we shall put the rice on the plate looking very good and then we have this delicious piping hot spicy bean stew look at that but as ever the most important thing is what does that taste like the bread looks beautiful uh, the rice is nice and fluffy in the middle there and the bean stew itself smells absolutely delicious I'm going to try some like so, look at that, delicious. Mmm, and some of the bread with it. That is a substantial and delicious meal for 74 pence. Not only delicious and filling, but as you've seen, very simple to make. And there's enough left in the pot for another two meals with this. So a very inexpensive and simple to make recipe and absolutely delicious. And you could spice this differently if you wish. I do like the paprika, I think that goes really well with the uh, tomatoes. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up, helps the channel a lot. If you'd like to see more delicious recipes like this, including savoury recipes, desserts, please do consider subscribing to the channel, because there will be lots more of these types of meals and recipes to come. I thank you very much for watching.